Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my very special guest, entertainer Pete DiLorenzo. And now, on with the show. You say either, and I say either. You say neither, and I say neither. Either, either, neither, neither. Let's call the whole thing off. You like tomato, and I like tomato. You like potato, and I like patata. Tomato, tomato, potato, patata. Let's call the whole thing off. But oh, if we call the whole thing off, then we must part. And oh, if we ever part, then that might break my heart. So if you like pajamas, and I like pajamas, I'll wear pajamas and give up pajamas. For we know we need each other, so we better call the calling off. off. Let's call the whole thing off. But oh, if we call the whole thing off, then we must part. And oh, if we ever part, then that might break my heart. So if you like banana, and I like banana, I'll eat banana and give up banana. For we know we need each other, so we better call the calling off. off. Let's call the whole thing off. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's call the whole thing off. Written by George and Ira Gershwin for the RKO film Shall We Dance, starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Yes, Fred and Ginger, the greatest dance team in the movies. And right now, I'd like you to meet the greatest musical team on television today at the guitar, Sandy Renda. And at the keyboard, Mike Yanuzzi. And we're opening up our show tonight with songs written by George and Ira Gershwin in honor of George Gershwin's birthday. For the great composer was born on September 26th, 1898 in New York City. And of course, the lyrics were written by his brother Ira. Here's another song the Gershwins wrote for Fred Astaire. This one for the RKO film, A Damsel in Distress. Foggy day in London town Had me low and had me tall morning with a long British Museum had lost its charm. How long I wondered could this thing last? The age of miracles hadn't passed. For suddenly I saw you there and shining everywhere Thank you, Sandy, and thank you, Mike, thank you. 
for helping us celebrate the songs George and Ira Gershwin wrote for Fred Astaire. And before we get to your wonderful solo number, I just want to take this opportunity to say that we've had a lot of success with CD recordings lately. Uh, the most recent CD, Favorites of the 30s, featured both of you, talented musicians, along with Sal Yeager's trio. Well, now there's a new Steve Ames CD out on the horizon, but it's not exactly a new recording. It's uh, everything old is new again. I took the old 1986 record album that I originally made, The Roaring Twenties Roar Again, and reproduced it onto CD for a new generation. So here it is, we're showing it on the screen now, Steve Ames, The Roaring Twenties Roar Again, with uh, 14 great songs from the 1920s, including Happy Days Are Here Again, Ain't She Sweet, I Can't Give You Anything But Love Baby, It Had To Be You, Sheik of Araby, and many, many more. And now we're showing a picture of the very talented musicians who worked with me, and I know, Sandy, you knew some of them. We have, uh, we have Tony Santora on the guitar, my longtime accompanist Yolanda Peter Paul on the piano, and then we have the Jersey Bounce Trio, which consisted of Charmin Howe on the keyboards, Alfred Natoli Sr. on the saxophone, and Alfred Natoli Jr. on the drums. And uh, so that's out for the public to enjoy. Great, I have one. Yeah, that's right. You have one, and Mike has one too, yep. right? Yep. That's right. And hopefully, in the future, we will have a trilogy. Hopefully, soon, we will record favorites of the 40s, 40s. with Mike Yanuzzi on the keyboard and Sandy Rand on the guitar, and we'll try to get Sal Yeager back for that. Well, anyway, uh, Sandy and Mike, what's the big number for tonight? Well, the one we're doing tonight is in the still of the night, and it's not Jodo, but Shobido. It's not that one. That, that was the one by Five Satins years ago. This is the one by Cole Porter. Beautiful song, as is the uh, original 50s song, uh, one by the Five Satins. But this one's really, really pretty. We're going to do like a little Beguine style on it. Very nice. Wow. We're looking forward to it. Thank what uh, beautiful music on tonight's show. Gershwin, and now, thanks to Sandy and Mike, we'll hear Cole Porter. Let's hear it for Sandy and Mike.
Our very special guest this evening is an old friend. He first appeared on the show back in 1992, and he's been on many times since. And it's always a pleasure whenever he visits us with his comedy and impressions. Here is the multi-talented entertainer, Pete DiLorenzo. Thank you, Steve. I'd like to do this segment and dedicate this to the Steve Ames Show, which is truly an honor for me to be back on again as a guest. And uh, we're kind of place the setting on a show that we all remember and all loved, All in the Family. Oh, Archie, oh. You know, when we sit down by the television and turn it on, there's not many very good shows anymore. I know that, Edith, there. And you know what? I love watching the Steve Ames show because he's a great singer there and he always has great guests there. Not like the meathead that watches all these dumb reality shows there. And, and they ain't reality shows. You know what I'm talking about there? Oh, Archie, I love when you get so sentimental. Oh. All right, stifle it there. Don't get mushy on me there, huh? <laughs> Thank you. There's a guy out of Philly who came specially to see you, Steve. Yo, yeah, absolutely, you know what I mean? Yeah, everybody knows me from Rocky, you know what I mean? But now I got a new flick, and it's a great flick. And a lot of my buddies in it, and Arnold even took some time off for of being governor. And he would be in the movie Expendables with me. Yo, absolutely. Everybody teases me, you know, because I talk funny. Yo, I hooked on phonics. I'd buy a vowel. Yo, absolutely. Sly Stallone is here, see. <laughs> we cannot leave out some vintage people, though, that as a wonderful singer that you are, and every bit of uh, memorabilia and great standard tunes. We go back to the Vegas days of that wonderful, of course, they were a comedy team before the Rat Pack came about, uh, and we're gonna do a little Dean and Jerry for you. Uh, Jerry, Jerry, every time I go sing a song, you gotta interfere, always interrupting me and everything. Well, I wanna sing a song with you. Come on, do you? you know, I wanna sing a song, you know, let me sing a song. Jerry, what do you, what you want to sing? I don't care anything, anything you want. All right, I'll let you sing a couple of bars. Well, you should know about that. You know, you do magic. You just walk down the street and turn right into a bar. Oh, lady, oh, lady, lady. Dean and Jerry. <laughs> and of course, it probably will not be complete, as I said, with the Rat Pack later on came a gentleman by the name of Mr. Sammy Davis Jr. Dig it, man. Ka-chung, uh, you cats, man. Now, I, 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 wanna, I want you to get off the stage and, and just let me be here with the great Steve Ames, and we're going to throw down, man, and do a couple of numbers. Ka-chung, ka-chung. Right, Steve? I love you, babe. Ka-chung. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here's a gentleman we could never, ever forget. And talk about the vaudeville days. They were a comedy team in every sense of the word. A little bit of George Burns and Gracie Allen. Uh, it's, it's good to be here on, on the great Steve Ames show. You know, this is what television should be, what it was in the great days, and still is to people like him who put quality entertainment on the air. You know, Gracie, the other day, she called me, and uh, she was panicking. Remember when Ronnie Reagan knocked down the Berlin Wall? She almost had a heart attack. She thought they said the Bergen Mall. <laughs> you know, one day she called me up, Steve, and she said, two men stole the car out of the driveway. I said, Gracie, did you get a good look at him? She said, no, but I got the license plate. <laughs> I said, Gracie, where's the car now? She said, at the bottom of the Hudson. <laughs> anyway, you know, person like myself, you get on an age having sex is like uh, shooting pool with a rope. <laughs> but anyway, here's a little ditty for you. Fairy tales can come true, can happen to you if you're young at heart. You can survive to 105. Look at all you derive out of being alive, and here's the best part. You have a head start if you are among the very young at heart. Say goodnight, Gracie. Uh, good night, George. Good night, kid. God bless. George Burns and Gracie. <laughs> Thank you. 
And uh, of course, there's one more gentleman we'd like to throw in tonight in tribute to you, Steve, and to the great entertainment that you bring to all our viewers. Jack Nicholson's here, man. And you know, I just want to say that being here with you tonight on your show, well, I guess this is as good as it gets and just makes me want to be a better man. So here's Johnny. <laughs> Jack Nicholson, yeah. Thank you all. Thank you very much. P.T. Lorenzo, welcome back to the show. Steve, thank My you so much. My good friend, it's so nice to have it's you a, back. It's always an honor and indeed a pleasure to and be here. And this is your show. first time I'm with us since we're taping here at the Holiday Inn in Springfield. Yeah, yeah. I think you've been through all our um, places. We were with us at the, the Oasis, Oasis in Woodbridge and Kenilworth. in Montclair when we were in right. Montclair, Montclair and yeah. Kenilworth. Well, what have you been up to in the recent years? Ooh, lots of things. You know, the performances, concerts, things of that nature. I just did the Great Falls, uh, Patterson Great Falls Festival. That was great. Um, and I just was cast in an independent film, which I have a lead role. They're going to be starting production probably in a month or so. It's called White Knight. I play a real kind of creepy guy. Um, Is that a comedy? No, actually, it's a, it's a drama. Yeah, it's a drama, which I love. You know, oftentimes when, you know, known as a comedian, I've done dramatic roles, which is a challenge because, you know, you don't want to just get stereotyped as the comedic actor. How many movies have you done? 16 to date. That's marvelous. Yeah. That is. In the beginning, there were the B films, and, you know, you did featured extra work, but, uh, yeah. 16 films to date. Well, when you were with us the last time, you talked about the movie that you are planning to produce yourself, mm -hmm. and that's still in the process of getting oh, yeah. it together. Tell us about it. Yeah, the mentor is alive and well. Um, of course, you know, it's been a 13-year labor of love, and as a producer, producing a film is not quite as easy as some people think. And you think. also wrote it, right? Yeah, I wrote it, um, producing it, co-directing it, starring in it, cast it. <laughs> like your friend Jerry Lewis, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Doing the whole thing. From your lips to God's ears, I couldn't shine that man's shoes, but he's always been one of my heroes. Did you see him this year on the telephone? Uh, God he's bless looking his good, heart. isn't he? Looking good, and you know, he's going to be 85. That's right. Yeah. Yes, Jerry's right looking from good. Irvington, New Jersey, not too far Absolutely. from where we he's are right now. Absolutely, he's a New Jersey boy. And yeah. Pete, you want to acknowledge the very special lady in your life. Yes, uh, that is my lovely lady and my fiance who. Actually said, yes, she wants to marry me. I don't know. maybe. When are you getting married? <laughs> we didn't actually set a date. Not yet. But, uh, but that's you know, nice. Yeah. So tell We've us about her. We've been together two years. Michelle. She's, Michelle is from Connecticut. And uh, we met. And, uh, of course, you know, over the phone and emails, we talked a lot. And then finally we physically met. And we just... I look and I count my blessings that God put us together. She is a lovely young lady. I met her Love earlier tonight. She's also vice president of my company. Yeah, so she's helping yeah. you in your Head career, of, too. Yeah, she, That's she great. works hard in my office, and she's an excellent typist, too. That's so marvelous. This, uh, that's another thing that's on the plate, is I was actually asked to write a three-episode pilot of a series, hopefully which will be a series, and it's being submitted to Disney Channel. And will so, this be uh, for children or for adults? It's going to involve teens. Yeah, but I mean, to the viewers, it'll like be a for all, all type audience. Not a sitcom. It's going to be more or less like a musical type series involving oh, I like that. young people and their And you're writing careers. it. Yeah, I'm writing it, yeah. That sounds very exciting. Yeah, I hope it takes off. <laughs> I hope so, too. And you've got a website you'd like to give the folks? Yeah, my website uh, is www.pete, short for Peter, P-E-T-E-D-E-L-O-R-E-N-Z-O, Z like zebra, and uh, dot com and you can visit that and uh, there's uh, a lot up there there's a yeah. lot up there and also and, of recordings yeah yeah there's uh, on my video page there's uh, some clips of some interviews and commercials that I did I did one for Skittles not too long ago <clears throat> and uh, they also can see uh, segments of you know there's gonna be a lot more clips going up of segments of uh, you know comedy impressions and Back, put a clip up of what we're That's doing. great. That's First just up. great. And, and we uh, can't forget to mention, too, that you are going to be in my upcoming motion it's picture. It's my great pleasure to be a part of your movie Playing along the, with Sandy Rend and yes, Mike and Uzi. I was going to say, Sandy. And Jerry Schoenfeld. And Jerry. The whole gang. Jer right? Jerry is going to definitely be on crew because of his expertise. Absolutely. He's Sandy, a pioneer of video. Sandy is just phenomenal. Uh, and Mike on the piano. Yeah, That's Mike. That's a very good We're going to do actually, uh, well, they could be backing you when you do your numbers. When we do the and, numbers, and, right. And yeah. talking about numbers, you are going to sing an original song now, Forrest. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, the song I wrote in 1995 and then uh, 
Went back a year later, fattened it up in the studio, and a colleague of mine who is my keyboard player says, go all the way, go full-blown with it. So I took his advice and went into the studio, we recorded it, and it was Mr. Don K. Reed from CBS FM that launched it on the radio, and it just took off on all the other stations. I self-produced it on my own label, and now it will be the theme song for my upcoming motion picture, The Mentor, which we're mentioning, and we're getting very close now to arriving to, God willing, Thank getting God, the yes. funds to say lights, action, camera, That's right. hopefully by the beginning of 2011. I hope so, and you've written both the lyrics and the music to this next song. Yeah, and it's a love ballad. Uh, it will be a theme song for the film, The Mentor, and the song is called They All Remind Me of You. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the, a very talented Mr. Pete DiLorenzo. Thank you, and I'd like to dedicate it to you and everyone here and to my lady Michelle. When the lights come down and I leave the stage, it's you that makes it all worthwhile. Each day in my life as I turn a new page, it's you that makes this clown smile It's all the simple things in life All the little things you say and do Will that wipe away the pain and strife That's why, baby I love you Because they all remind me of you They all remind me of you Everything about you by far Even though I'm the only one in the spotlight Honey, it's you You are my shining star Because they all remind me of you Right now, a tribute to one of my idols, Maurice Chevalier, who also had a birthday in September. He was born September 12th, 1888, near Paris, France. And when Chevalier came to the United States in the late 1920s, he signed a contract with Paramount Pictures, and he soon became one of the top stars in movies and recordings. And here's one of the songs he made popular. Gee, it's great after being out late Walking my baby back home Arm in arm over meadow and farm Walking my baby back home We go along harmonizing a song Or I'm reciting a poem Owls go by and they give me the eye Walking my baby back home we stop for a while, she gives me a smile and snuggles her head to my chest. We start into pets, and that's when I get her talcum all over my vest. After I kind of straighten my tie, she has to borrow my comb. One kiss then, I continue again, walking my baby back home. Oh yes, yes, when we stop for a rest, I cuddle up to my own. By this time, I assure you that I'm just like a king on a throne. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, 
it's delightful for me walking my baby back home. I can't use every word I would choose. I'll tell you when we're alone. And then comes the fun. Her shoe gets undone. Oh, yes, I start tying it then. And then I admit I linger a bit. She has me to walk in again. Then we stroll till my heel and my soul feel like they're down to the bone. Oh, she's sweet, but it's tough on my feet, walking my baby back home.